Welcome back to the Red7 Linux YouTube channel. Uh, today I don't really have any tips or tricks or hints or suggestions for you other than just uh, an interesting, amusing story. Uh, I was at a client a couple of days ago who had uh, a machine that was uh, based on Windows 2000, so it was definitely quite old. It was an older Dell system, and he got a brand new HP that had Windows 7 on it. Um, uh, much nicer system. And, uh, nicer than what he had, not, not really nice in any way. I mean, it looks pretty on the outside, but you know, the, the basic HP pavilions aren't really the way to go. But in any case, it was definitely an improvement over what he had. And uh, I was over there uh, transferring data. He had about 10 gigs of data on his old computer that he wanted moved over to his new computer. Now, when he was on the phone with us, scheduling the appointment, the person he was on the phone with suggested that we may just take the hard drive out of the old computer, plug it into the new computer, and transfer the data that way, which normally that, that would work as long as there wasn't such a massive age gap between the two systems. Um, because the old computer uses an IDE interface for the hard drives and the new one uses a SATA interface for the hard drives. Now the new computer is so new that it actually doesn't have any IDE ports on it. So there really isn't a simple way to hook up without special adapters, uh, which I didn't have with me on site. Uh, it just didn't have that information that I would need those. Um, to, no, no simple way to hook up the old hard drive to the new computer. So what I ended up doing was plugging my flash drive into his computer, into his old computer, to transfer the information to the flash drive and then transfer it back. However, the USB ports on his old computer were very, very slow. Um, and so the transfer of the 10 gigs would have taken upwards of three hours. And uh, as much as he doesn't want to pay me to sit $100 an hour to sit there and watch his file move, I don't want to sit there and watch his files move either. I'd rather be doing something much more productive because not once they're copied to the flash drive, they need to be copied from the flash drive. So it'd be a two-step process. Probably would have been upwards of four hours before the whole thing was done. So I ended up uh, setting up a, a, a shared drive over the uh, the wireless connection that they had or that he had there, and use that to transfer the information over because that way I could transfer it to the destination folder, and it could take as long as it wanted. It wouldn't matter. It would end up in the right place, and I wouldn't have to sit there and watch it. So I could start the transfer and then leave. Well, he had made some comments to me. He's kind of a snarky guy. I've been out there before. He had made some comments to me uh, about the fact that the whole, I the, this, the whole idea of the old system having an IDE interface and the new system having a SAT interface was completely intentional, uh, was to make it so that the old one would, would become obsolete by not having the same connection and uh, would make it more difficult on purpose to transfer the data over. And I said, no, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. <laughs> um, you know, I was just trying to be kind of curious about the whole thing. Uh, so I said, no, I don't, th I don't think that's it. I think the reason they came out with SATA and put that on the system is because SAT is faster. It's, been, it's a technological improvement. And he says, well, yeah, but they got rid of the old interface off the old computer, or off the new computer, uh, so that you couldn't hook up the drive to it. I'm like, no, I, I don't think that's true either, because if they had to put the old interface on the new computer, something that very few people would use, it would increase the cost of the new computer. So they keep the cost down by not putting uh, superfluous connections there, things that they don't need. He said, yeah, but they, they came out with, with the new one, and they made it different from the old one on, on purpose, so that way they wouldn't be the same. And I'm like, no, no, again, I think this is just because the new one's faster. Said, yeah, but they came out with the faster one. They could have just stuck with the old one. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. They, they could have not come out with a new version, but then again, you could have not bought the computer. You could have just had the old computer. Um, he's like, yeah, but then I, uh, you know, the new computer is telling me I have to upgrade all sorts of things. Like, well, you don't have to upgrade anything. You can keep using Internet Explorer 5.5 or 6 or, you know, whatever you have on Windows 2000. You don't have to upgrade anything. You can keep all the stuff that you have and none of it's going to go away. It'll just stay there. It's like, yeah, but if I want to do this other stuff, this, 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 uh, you know, these other things on the internet, I'm like, well, what kind of things? Like, oh, well, the, the YouTube, it requires, you know, the newer version of Flash, and, you know, newer version of Internet, the newer version of, you know, I don't know, whatever he wants to do, it requires some newer version of software. Like, well, yeah, I mean, that's because you're wanting to do new things, uh, and you're wanting your old computer to support new things. Well, of course, that's not going to happen, right? Because if you want to keep the old computer, you're perfectly capable of doing that. You can keep the old computer, and you keep doing your old stuff, but you can't really expect the new computers, or the, the, the old computers, to do all the new stuff. The, you know, the old computers came out before the new stuff existed. The, the old computers can't know how to do those things, necessarily. I mean, to a certain degree, they can be upgraded, but for the most part, they aren't going to have that information, and they're not going to have that kind of support. It's like, well, I would be happy just keeping the same computer for 200 years. Uh, well, uh, putting aside the whole lifetime expectancy argument there, um, 
systems and you can't keep the same computer for 200 years. You just can't change what you do for 200 years. You have to keep doing the same thing that you've always been doing. You know, he was, he's a, an older retired engineer. I'm like, well, the, you know, the, these things change. The interface has changed. You're not putting punch cards in your new computer, are you? The reason these things change is because people want to do new things. And because they want to do new things, they have new requirements. Uh, with a, a, a dial-up modem from 1998, you can't do YouTube. You can't stream video over a 56K connection. It just won't work. Um, so people want to do new things, so new technology comes out that makes those things available. But you're wanting access to all the new stuff without having to buy anything new. You want your old stuff to do all the new stuff. He's like, well, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's my point. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So uh, he and I were going back and forth for a little bit. And hopefully he realized how, how ridiculous his position was. But I just thought it was kind of amusing, something that people would, would, uh, would, uh, would like me to share with them. So... Thank you so much, uh, as always, uh, for, for tuning in, and hope to have some more good information for you soon. Again, don't forget to check out the Facebook fan page of Red 7 Linux, because uh, Michael Cady is always posting specials there, especially for our new Scottsdale store. I've seen a couple of specials up there recently. If you've got Windows Vista, uh, you can bring your machine in and have that wiped off and have Linux put on it for 50 bucks, which is about one-third of the normal price. I don't think that special is active now uh, because it's usually a one-day type of thing. You've got to catch it when it happens, but that's why you want to fan us on Facebook so that way when there are new things that happen, you get notified of them through your Facebook page immediately or very quickly. <laughs> so, again, fan us on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, check out red7linux.com, and if you have any computer issues, you can definitely call us, contact us. We'd be happy to help you out, answer any questions, see what we can do for you. Thanks a lot.